Good afternoon. It's Miss Nana. Mm, hello. Hello, all my beautiful people. How are you today? All righty. I guess I'm going to get started whether you're joining me or not. Good afternoon. I am Miss Nana, and this is my kitchen. I'm welcoming, welcoming you in. And, uh, and uh, oh, we got already some people joining us. How fantastic. Happy Sunday to you all. Hello. Today we are going to be cooking, uh, let's see, chicken quesadillas. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. And we're also going to be cooking oh, it, uh, the ham and cheese sliders. Oh, they're divine. They're just heaven in my mouth. Mmm, yum. So, Please stay tuned to this episode of awesome cookery and kitchen fun with me, Miss Manus. Hello, everybody. How do you do? I am uh, going to just throw my little apron on here because I make too much messes. But what fun in the kitchen isn't without messes, huh? All righty. So, how is everybody today? I have got this wonderful ham and cheese slider recipe. Oh, and if you hear any noises going in the background, that's my silly dogs. And they always run around and do whatever they want. So, uh, hello. Oh, but this is Miss Miana. I'm Miss Miana. Yeah, the one and only. Hello, everybody. We got Hawaiian bread and all kinds of delicious things to whip up. So if you all uh, will just uh, join me in this fun, we have Hawaiian rolls to make for our first part of our meal. Mmm. I already have my oven preheating because we do have to throw these in the oven. But I promise it's worth all the effort. It's absolutely worth all the effort. And I unfortunately don't have a pan to fit my rules, so I got to compromise. So this is all about kitchen magic, everybody. It's all about magic. It's about making imperfect perfect. As long as you know you're getting in the kitchen and you're taking care of yourself, that's what counts. That's all I'm trying to get you to subscribe to is self-care and self-love. Yum. It makes all the food taste so much better. All right. Let's get started. I got so much stuff to do today. I don't want to miss a beat. Hold on and let me grab something really quick. Discuss amongst yourselves if you need to. I had to get my little handy dandy nonstick spray. There we go. I don't have any room in this kitchen. I need a lot larger kitchen. That's a fact. But it'll do for now. But who doesn't have a large kitchen unless they're very lucky? Whatever. So anyway, I'm going to spray my pan just like that. Woo! Yes! Set that back over there. And I'm going to put that right there so you can see. How are you all doing? I'm going to look at the little, the little computer here. And see everybody uh, uh, sitting there commenting and everything. Who doesn't love Hawaiian bread, huh? We're going to take these lovely rolls and we're going to make some magic. Mm. All right, let's get in here and have some fun. Come, fun, fun. We're having fun in the kitchen. For those of you who have no idea how much fun you can have. I'll just toss that right there. I'll get that in the garbage later. Where's my handy dandy knife? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Right there. This is my bread knife, if you're for those of you who do not see. It's a serrated edge. Careful, it's sharp. It's a serrated edge to uh, surgically and strategically cut this whole thing of rolls. Hawaiian rolls, mmm, in half so we can make our little sandwich. Oh, it's going to be so divine. Heaven in our mouths, in fact. Mmm. 
All right. So now here, I gotta pay attention so that I don't cut my fingers off because it's not part of the recipe. No blood is needed for this one, folks. All right. Now this episode, it's gonna take a lot more cooking for me. So just stay, you know, just hang in there with me because this is a new recipe for me and I, I'm learning right along with you all because I'm all about making imperfect perfect in the kitchen. All right, let's see here. I hope everybody's having such a lovely day. It's been such a nice weekend here in our town. And uh, uh oh, getting a little too low there on that part. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. I did it. Oh, my goodness. And I have managed to remove, let's put this all for you to see. The bottom and the top, see that? Oh, isn't that fun? I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna set that right there out of my way. Now we take this bottom of our rolls, whatever rolls you prefer. I do happen to like the uh, the Hawaiian ones. They're very delicious. They're so delicious. They're like little clouds of heaven. Mmm, mmm, just so good. Well, hello, Jackson. I got all my dogs running around and being all silly and stuff so okay this is for our ham and cheese sliders okay oh i do need to get the cheese hold on one moment and the pickles oh can't forget about the pickles what did i do with the pickles oh great pickles moogly where did they go oh here they are all right because these going to have pickles on them Oh, all righty. I hope everybody is having a good time. So, oh, and I'm going to get my ham. Oh, goodness, I'm not prepared today. Oh, my goodness, I am so not prepared today. I like to get the little already prepared lunch meat slices because Miss Manners is on a budget. So, First of all, we take our ham, and you gotta kinda, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm forgetting the best part. I gotta make my rolls fit into my, into my round pan with a square set of rolls. So what you gotta do is you take the top of your pan, and like a surgeon with this knife, you kinda gotta cut off the edges a bit so that it'll fit Square, a square peg in a round hole. Isn't that the truth for all of us? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's so good. If you have, if you can't have carbs, I'm sorry because you're missing out. Carbs are life. Carbs are life. Mmm. All right. Now. Our round rolls will fit in our square put round. And top with all that yumminess in my mouth, our was square set of rolls now fits in our round pan because Miss Hannah's only has a round one right now. So I will put this back over here and. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good time because I'm really trying to work hard for you here. Mm, mm, mm. Welcome, welcome if you have just joined me. I love you all. We're making ham sliders. It's going to be divine. Right now, I'm taking my ham and I am placing it. Can we see this here? I guess we can not. I like that. We're putting our, uh, our little ham. I'll show you here in a minute. I'm totally imperfect. I can't pretend to be anything, but, but you know, imperfection is the spice of life. It's one of the best ingredients in all of your meals. It's just screwing it up because, you know, who says you got to do things a certain way? That's just not fair. That's not fun either. We got to make messes. It's like science in the kitchen. All righty. So we lay all the ham across all of here. Just like that. Do you see that? 
Mmm. We got bread, and then we got our ham, and next we're going to put on the Swiss cheese. I'm pretty sure you can make any cheese you like on top of this. Kind of think of it like a grilled cheese type of sandwich, but, you know, I like Swiss for this one, boys and girls. I think it goes best with ham. So I took two slices of, uh, well, you won't even got in the hole. There we go. There's the holes. See the holes? Yeah, that's the good stuff. We take four slices for this particular size cheese of Swiss. The Swiss cheese actually come from the Swiss. I wonder. Somebody find out for me because I have no idea. I've always wondered that. But anywho, anywho, I guess it may, not, may or may not matter. So I have just placed my cheese on top of my ham, on top of my sliced and half rolls. Because don't forget, I got the top of them right here. See, she sliced them in half. Isn't that magic? Oh my God, isn't that magic? I know. And then from this point, we are going to take some yummy pickle slices. And we're going to, I'm sorry if you don't like pickles, you can leave this off of here too. And I'll show you here in a minute when I get all the pickles on what that's going to look like, folks. Because, that, because you know, this is a live cooking show and we got to keep it rolling. we got to keep it rolling. Oh, yes. I like a lot of pickles on mine. You know, because pickles. Ooh, ooh, look at that one. Oh, little Jeff. I'll eat this one. <laughs> See, and the whole time here, I'm making a mess. I'm always making a mess. Oh. So I'm just going to move my jar of pickles out of the way because we're done with the app. <sighs> well, we got a lot of excited people about this food this week. How wonderful. How wonderful. Ooh. Okay. Now, yeah. show you my step here. So we got pickles, Swiss, ham, and the rolls. Woo! Yum, yum, yum! All righty. Now, we just take the top of our Hawaiian rolls like this. See? It's like that. But it's not done yet. What we do is we're going to take a round pan. You see that? I just sprayed it with a non-stick spray. Right. All righty. And we're going to take all of this. Can you see that? And fit it. Ta-da! Into our round pan. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. That right there is what we are going to use by putting in the oven and making some instantly delicious yumminess. I like to kind of smoosh it all down in there. You got to kind of like smoosh it down. And oh, I forgot an important part. Oh my goodness. I got to get a little butter to put on the top of them. What was I thinking? Where is it? Here it is. I don't have any room over there. Remember, remember folks, I'm trying to uh, teach you to just get in the kitchen and have a good time. Imperfection makes a yummy meal. So you take your butter and you slide that all over the top of those so they don't burn in the oven. Get it all over there. Mm. If you want to, you could add a little garlic powder seasoning or whatever you like to the top of this. And uh, It'll be so delicious. Mmm. Again, this is going to be heaven in our mouths, boys and girls. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so divine. All righty. I'm going to. It's almost like making a cake and you got to butter up the cake or something. I don't know. But this is always a party favorite. Mmm. There we go. Now, we got the butter. 
on top of all that. And we're just going to place this in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Now, I always tend to not pay attention to time. So I always got to set an alarm to remind me of what I'm doing. Let me go do that. Hold on. There. Time is set. So remember, what I had just made for you is called the ham and cheese sliders. And um, I used Hawaiian rolls with ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, and uh, topped it all back off with the top of the rolls and threw it in the oven. Pow, pow, pow. Isn't that wonderful? Pow, pow, pow in your mouth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you for joining me. I'm having so much fun. Oh, and I got all my little crumbs in my my pan since I used that. Oh, silly me. You can tell I use that pan a lot. It's one of my favorites. So, next, what do we got here? I'm going to look at all these little comments, these beautiful comments. Uh, oh, my gosh. You guys have no idea how delicious this all is. You just, you just have no idea. Oh, and it smells like... I don't, it smells like the gods of bottle in here. Oh, it's so delicious. I know I keep saying that, but it's, it truly is. So I'm going to set my cooktop that I have here. I'm going to warm that up because we're going to make, oh, I better turn that off. Actually, I'm going to burn myself. I told you, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm sure as heck trying. <sighs> Let's see. We're making chicken quesadillas next, if you didn't know. Let's set that right there, because i got to get to the next step. So I got my big bowl, and I got my chicken. It was rotisserie chicken that I used before I, beforehand. I, uh, I uh, removed all the chicken from my two rotisserie chickens, and uh, I just put them in the bowl for later. And now I'm going to use that meat for now for my chicken quesadillas. I don't know why it fell out like that. It's kind of, oh, my gosh. Did you see that? Did you just see it lump into like a, just plopped out of the bowl like a, like a, like a turd? Oh, my gosh. That was weird. All right. <sighs> chicken quesadillas. What are you all talking about? Yes, chicken quesadillas. We're going to add a little sriracha to our lives. You know, I like this stuff right here. I think the brand new bottle, too. I think we got, we got to pop the top. Oh, we got to pop the top. Ugh. Is there any other easier way to get this off? Ugh. Whew. That was wonderful. Now. <laughs> I know I, I'm a messy wall, and, and I, 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 I just like cooking. I don't claim to be a chef or anything or any professional. I just like to get in the kitchen and cook and do. What the heck is this? Why is it doing this? I guess we'll have to use it. it smells good. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's from being cold in the refrigerator. Now you just got to kind of like get your hands in there a little. Yeah. All right. We're going to break this all up. <laughs> all righty. So for our next pot, we're making chicken quesadillas. And, uh, oh, that got away from me here. Let me put that back in there. That's the yummy stuff. So. We have rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to add a little sriracha. I got to shred some cheese for you all. I'm telling you, I'm behind today in all my duties, so we're all going to have to sit here and enjoy everything as I go along. And I, I even got dishes sitting in the sink, boys and girls. <sighs> Miss Manus, a woman's work is never done. All righty. So chicken quesadillas. Oh, it smells like heaven already with those rolls. I got 15 minutes to go, so I got to time this out because I don't want those others to be done before I get done with this. Where is my cheese? Where did my cheese go? Oh, here it is. So 
I'm going to need another knife for this. This one looks good. We're going to cut our cheese. Well, actually, I'm just going to open the cheese up with it. I like to buy blocks of cheese because, again, Miss Manis is on a budget. And it's better to buy the blocks of cheese than it is to uh, buy the shredded cheese if you want to make your dollar stretch. So I always I always enjoy getting the blocks of cheese because plus you could just you know eat the cheese however you like and it not be in all the uh, in all the stringy stuff. Alright I gotta hurry up because uh my stuff's gonna come out of the oven here real soon and what did I do with this? Oh here we go got it figured out. All right. So what we're going to get ready to do here. Jackson, please stop. He's in the background whining. He has all this cheese. He loves cheese. And then the chicken, it's just a mess for that poor puppy. All right. So you take your grater. This happens to be Monterey Jack. I thought it would go good with this uh, quesadilla. And I need to put that over there. I gotta have that burner heat up and not get burned. Oh my god! All right, so you gotta you gotta grind your cheese. You gotta you gotta really get in and and, and, and work that cheese, girl. Cause see now you see the other reason why I like doing the blocks of cheese because you get a lot of exercise. You get a lot of good muscle action. So when you when you get in there and you just really Grind out this cheese. Oh my gosh, this is my cheese is so slippery. I don't what's going on here. So I'm already grinding up my my Monterey. My, is that Monterey? Yeah, Monterey Jack. Oh, let me take this wrapper off. This is totally not conducive to my habits here. All right, so. We're grinding up the cheese for our chicken, roast history chicken quesadillas, actually. It's the best way to go, I say. You go to that store and you just grab one of them rotisserie chickens. It, no, it, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's already the work done for you. I'm going to set that over there. And, uh, so we got, a. Uh, we got a lot of our, uh, you can see that there, got a lot of our Mon Monterey Jack to go into the bowl. Hold on here. Stay with me, everybody. I'm, a, I'm an imperfect cooker. Take a wrap over off of that one. Now we got a block of mild cheddar. I like mild cheddar because it's just yum yum in my mouth. I hope you all are having a good time with me cooking. I know I, I, I love cooking shows so much. I was like, you know, I really need to do some of my own because, you know, I think I could do a really good job, don't you? So I'm sitting here grinding my cheese. And, uh, all right, I'm almost, oh, my arms are so tired. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I can do it. I can do it. I know I can. I can do it. I can do it. I think I have enough now. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Looks good to me. Put the cheese back in the wrapper. You always got to wrap your cheese for safety. I'll take care of that later. I'll take care of all that later. So then... Here we go. We shredded all of our cheese. Here we go. Oh, I got cheese everywhere. Ooh, this is exciting. It's a good day when you got cheese all over your kitchen, boys and girls. Put that right there. And then we almost made a mess. This is why not very many people do live cooking shows. Because it's there's just so many things that can go wrong. But that's what I love the most. Cheese for our chicken quesadillas. And then you just take that 
and you smear that all around. And just like that, let's put that all in there. I'll set that down. <sighs> all righty. Then oh, we got to shake it up. Oh, you got to shake it up. Oh, more matching. That's good stuff. And it says to put about two tablespoons of the sriracha. I just shove it in there because why not? It's some good stuff. And uh, sour cream. I think I got that somewhere. Oh, goody. Here I do. And you only need, you don't need a lot in this part of it. Forgive measuring anything. I don't, I don't care if I measure anything. It's all going to be good at the end, guys and gals. So, ooh, I got to stir this up. Ooh, that white stuff right there. Oh, my. All righty. So I throw that in there. And throw that in there. Put that to the side. Get rid of this. Oh, my goodness. We got so much of a mess going on. It's just all kinds of stuff here. All right. So we got this. So we have the sriracha, the cheese of Monterey and Mancheta and so I said sriracha and then sour cream. And then we're gonna take our little handy dandy spoon and we're gonna mix this all up because this is our insides for our chicken quesadillas if you didn't know. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be so lovely. Oh, it just smells so good and so delicious. Oh, if you're hungry, I suggest you get in the kitchen and you make yourself some of this yum, yum, good stuff. We got about eight minutes left on our ham and cheese sliders. And for those of you who have just joined us, I'm also making ham and cheese sliders in which I had just put into the oven. Yeah. And that had a Hawaiian rolls mm, and ham and Swiss and pick. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let me focus on the uh, the quesadillas now. I apologize. So we got a rotisserie chicken in the bowl. And uh, I put a little sriracha, uh, different kinds of cheese. And I just got to mix it all up here. And soon I'm going to get my pan here and uh, put a little oil in it and get my quesadillas out. And we're going to, or my tortillas, and we're going to make ourselves some quesadillas. Mmm, yum. All right. That looks good for now, I say. Let's set that over there. What are you all doing, huh? Oh, my gosh, I am so glad you all can join me. We're having a good time in the kitchen, are we not? Let's see here. Oh, i got to get the oil in this pan. All right. So we're putting our pan on our burner, like that, and then I'm going to go get the oil. Boy, you know what? I left my collar up the whole time. I was like, I was too cold for school in it for a minute. But anywho, I got my pan on here warming. I'm going to go get the oil. I just use a little, uh, little dab of canola oil. Here we go. Oh boy, and we're gonna get that get on there. I hope that's not too much. I guess we'll find out one way. All righty. We got a 10 inch, oh, let me hold it there, our 10 inch quesadilla. There we go. Why was that so hard to get into? All right, so we got a quesadilla. Just set that down there. And uh, all right, here. Yeah. Oh, you know what I've seen one time? It was like, uh, what are those little face masks that the girls do to be all pretty? That it's like, it's like these always remind me of those face masks. And. Uh, and uh, 
Doesn't it look like one of those face masks that the people that the girls do to make their faces all pretty? You know, and uh, hello, hello, it's a quesadilla beauty mask. Oh, I'm so funny. I'll give that to the dogs to eat. They'll love it. All right, let's get another one. Oh, and let me show you my bowl. That is the ingredient, the rotisserie chicken, sriracha, two coins of cheese, and uh, sour cream, and I just will whip it all up. Okay. How much time we got? Oh, we got four minutes before those rolls come out. Mmm, let's hope they come out good. Uh oh, I think I may have gotten too much oil on here, but I guess we'll find out, huh? All righty. Hmm. I guess I'll do this. Where's my spatula? I'm going to get my tongs. That'd be better. So we're going to take a quesadilla. And we're going to put our cheese mixture in here cheese and chicken on one side right and I got a little I got a little cilantro I got a little cilantro to put in there let's, let's do that let's cut some of that up here real quickly I had pre-washed it already no worries anybody just get a little cilantro a little cilantro out of there Put that back in the refrigerator. And then and we're gonna can you see that? And we're gonna uh I guess we're gonna try and slice it up, maybe, huh? I don't like the stems, I'll take them off. Alrighty. And then you gotta kinda like bunch it all up. And then you kind of there we go and we just kind of sprinkle a little of that off you don't have to have the sriracha if you don't want it that's okay but then uh we got to make sure we get our our side folded over on our our quesadilla there we go get that down there like that Ooh, yum. Let's hope this turns out right. Let's turn this heat up a little higher. We need more heat. Let's hope this is not a science experiment gone wrong. What do you say? Eh? I guess we're going to find out, right? So we got the heat up here. And uh, oh, I need to cut me up some more cilantro. There we go. I think that's good. I'm going to put that right there like that in case we want another one, right? You know, it's okay. It's always good to have extra for later. Now, if you like, you could add the cilantro into the uh, mixture, but I like to just sprinkle it on a bit there before, uh, you know, before I, uh, you know, get my, my, my quesadilla all cooked up delicious. Alrighty, where the heck did my spatula go? Oh my goodness. I guess I'm just going to take this. No, I ain't going to take this and this. What, what the heck? Oops. Since I can't find my spatula, we're going to improvise. Because we got to get this thing flipped over. So, there we go. Ooh, it's starting to brown. Oh, and it smells so good. Here we go. And, uh, okay. So while we got the, while we got our quesadilla cooking, remember we had, uh, we had taken the rotisserie chicken and dumped it into the bowl, add a little sriracha. And uh, now at this point, you could also add uh, avocados or whatever, tomatoes, Whatever you like to add inside it. I just made it kind of base, you know, a little basic bitch at this point. So, oh, oh, I just caught shame on me. But uh, we're also waiting for our ham sliders. 
Oh my God. Oh, I just love being in the kitchen. I hope you all are having a good time with me. Let's take a look and see what you all got going on here. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys think I'm awesome in the kitchen? Oh. Oh. That means that our, our ham and cheese sliders are done. Oh, goody, goody. Whenever you get anything out of the oven, make sure you grab the, the oven mitt. The oven mitts in it, a pot holder, because uh, it's pretty hot in there. It's 350, folks. All righty. Oh, I'm going to turn over my quesadilla again, because it sounds like it's cooking so good. Oh, yum. Oh, it looks so good. Can you see the browning on there? Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh, sorry. 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 I got a little excited. So, I'm going to put my new oven mitt back on so I can show ya. Mmm. Mmm. The ham and cheese sliders. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm going to take, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm so excited of getting food. Oh, food, food, food. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's come to the time I get to stuff my face. So we're going to carefully slice up our sliders on our pan. Ooh. All right. Ooh, you gotta be careful here. Oh, let me check my cake chicken quesadilla. Uh oh, I hear the sound of love coming from it. Oh no. Oh, it's almost done. Little side on there while I do this. Alrighty. And I I'm gonna take this side over here and cut that up too. Oh, it's hot. It's so Piping hot and delicious, and all of our cheese is to maximum yummy inside this. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm not even going to. No, you know what? I'm going to cut like this, too. I'm going to cut like this. And I'm going to cut like this, just so you all can see what we got. This is why I do a live cooking show, folks. I'm going to turn that off because our quesadilla is completed. And uh, how am I going to get this out of here? Oh, goodness, what am I doing? Oh, I hear the cheese coming out. That means, oh, it's so almost. Oh, my goodness. Come on, little slider. You got to come play with us. Like, uh, play in my mail. Ooh. Look at that drippy cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh. We're going to get another one out of there. Come on, little slider. We love you. Come play with us. You know you want to. You know. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got another one. I'm going to take this to the side. My case is going to burn some here. Cause look at that. Look at that. Can we get that? Can you get this, the layers, the pickles? And uh, yeah, but well, we're going to eat that here in a second. Let me get a plate. I got my plate. I'm going to put that on there. And that on there. And put that there. I'll come back to that. I got to get my cake to be down. Put that there. Ooh, do you see this? Let me get around here too. Yeah, I gotta get a gotta get a little love with you. You see the you see the cheese in there? You see it all cooked to to. Oh my God, it's like drugs. I would always imagine that if this anything crack would smell like it would smell like this. Oh, mmm. Cause I tell you, 
It's so delicious. It makes me feel like I'm on crack when I eat it. <sighs> so, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move my my pan out of the way, and uh, and uh, uh, cut the quesadilla up. Can we see this? There we go. Cut the quesadilla up into four sections. One, two, three times you cut it. And when you do that, it makes four sections of that quesadilla. Mmm, so here's our plate. We're going to put that on there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh, that's so yummy. Oh, it's so hot. It's going to be so good. It's going to be like heaven in my mouth. So here we go. So today... You just joined me, and together we made ham and cheese sliders and chicken, rotisserie chicken quesadillas with a little sriracha in it. So uh, let's see how they taste, huh, shall we? Oh, my gosh, it's a little hot. I may burn myself, but, you know, it's worth it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh. I can't even begin to show you. I'm like, like, do I to go into heaven? Oh my God. Oh my God, I gotta, I gotta stand myself against the wall. That was so good. I think I had sex in my mouth. I suggest you try these recipes. We haven't even tried the quesadilla yet. Now, sometimes I like to, I like to have a little, you know, salsa for my quesadilla. But for this, we're just gonna go ahead and take a nice big lovely bite of it. Hmm. <sighs> Mmm. Oh, it's so hot. That's all your cheese and chicken. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. It's still so hot. Mmm. <laughs> it's hot. Right off the pan. It's so delicious in my mouth. And uh, I invite you all to try out this quesadilla recipe, the ham slider recipe. Let's come up here. Let's take a look at what we got. We got a lovely ham. Here's the one that I ain't ate off of. Our ham and cheese sliders. And uh, let me turn this plate around. And our lovely chicken quesadillas. Mmm. Mmm. All righty. All righty. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dive into this dish. I think this is where I'm going to sign off with you all. I hope you enjoyed my time in the kitchen with me again, where we take care of ourselves every Sunday. Sunday self-care. Oh, I like that. Sunday self-care. And part of Sunday self-care, making your own food. If it means just meal prep for the week, 
or making a lot of the meal and then just replacing it in the refrigerator and then popping it out and microwaving it whenever you're doing well please then that's the best thing to do for yourselves and stay away from all that fast food because this is not going to do anything for you it's all about the cookery it's all about the cookery all righty well this is where i sign off and i do hope you all enjoyed this wonderful delectable delicious recipes in which i have presented for you all and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna uh, come on tuck her into all of this and i'm gonna see you all next sunday next sunday i'll see you all come cook with me sunday self-care in perfection and perfection in the kitchen so i'll see you all then bye bye